In this video, we'll show you how to read the LED indication for standard TA slider actuators. Always useful when you don't have a dongle to connect with your high tune. We power on and then the actuator starts calibrating. You can see that with the two pulses, the two short pulses followed by each other here. I have put a 5 volts input signal so it should reach uh, intermediate position after the calibration as we are using the standard uh, factory settings here. Voila, we are in an intermediate position indicated by two long pulses. When we change the input signal to 10 volts, it should go to the fully open position. So we see here that the blink is moving, that the LED is blinking fast. So that means that actuator is moving. Once it reached its final position, it will show, voila, here that it is fully extended with a short and a long pulse. Then if we change the input signal back again, uh, but not to 5, but to 0 volts, then again actuator starts moving, short pulses are indicating this, and then um, it will reach the fully retracted position after a period of time, depending on the speed of the actuator and the stroke distance. We're we have reached our fully retracted position here and we see a long pulse followed by a short one. The LED is in this case blue, uh, it could be red also when we are in changeover um, and we have heating and cooling. Next is error indication. The LED will then blink violet, so here it will blink uh, because I have changed some settings. You see the LED is blinking two pulses. Um, this means uh, because I have set the line break detection that I have put zero volts and it is indicating line broken. So you see uh, that there is a change between the uh, normal LED lights and the violet one, the error light.